Hi there, welcome to iQuanta's YouTube channel dedicated to your success as a B-School aspirant and in this session I am going to talk about how you can start your preparation and what kind of daily plan that you need to follow and above all if you are somebody who faces time crunch, who faces issues like procrastination then you will find a solution for all of those things but before we proceed further subscribe to the channel if you haven't done done that yet and of course do press the bell icon too i am vikrant i am your personal coach for all things related to english communication strategy and the mental aspects of preparation so let's dive into a study plan that will help you crack the cat exam like a boss so first up what do you need to succeed in the cat exam in fact at this juncture i actually encourage you to pause the video think it over maybe make a list and then uh, play this again so what do you need to succeed for the cat exam and in fact let me make it easier for you you can actually think of things that in general help you become more successful even that should work for us ah, so but then if you were to ask me and I hope by now you paused you wrote or at least if you did not write you have some things in your mind if you ask me what is needed to succeed in the CAT exam my answer will be cash cash you ask yes cash but then it is not a cash with a C it is a cash with a K so if you want to become successful you know that you need to acquire some knowledge you also need to cultivate a certain mental attitude you need to develop some skills and above all you need to have the right set of habits in place so we will talk about k a and s some other day but then habits this is one of those orphan areas of the preparation you know throughout our life uh, the schools think that the parents are teaching the right habits the parents think that the schools are teaching the right habits but then the truth is nobody was teaching us the right habits or pata nahi hum aise mein kya kya seekh gaye kuch acha kuch bura kuch achi aate kuch galat aate so you need to focus on this if you want to really move towards great performance in the cat exam huh. so habit basically involves executing a certain set of things day in and day out that takes you closer to the kind of percentile that you desire for the cat exam so what kind of things do you really need to execute if you were to create an ideal daily plan what all will that have so let's see if i talk about the cat exam we know that the exam is divided into three broad sections so you have a section called verbal ability and reading comprehension we have a section called data interpretation and logical reasoning so i'd be calling this varc and this dilr moving forward and then quantitative aptitude so these are the three sections that you need to go ahead and work on now is it necessary for you to study something or the other for each one of these three sections every day no but it is necessary for you to study each one of these three sections at least once a week and then apart from that there are some things uh, where if you uh, go through those tasks every day then it can always add a lot of value to you so let's take it up one by one let's look at each one of these three sections starting with VARC so the first thing that I want you to do is read so take out 15 20 25 minutes for reading every day where you're reading something that is challenging something that takes you beyond your comfort zone and make sure that your reading is also eclectic where you read different types of subject matters genres authors so in order to make it easy for you at iQuanta we've actually curated a list of 250 articles from different genres that are very relevant for the CAT exam so you can visit our website and start going through those articles from there but even otherwise you can always pick up books and use websites etc that we keep on talking about in different videos of ours additionally start practicing RC passages uh, so at least one passage a day uh, and for a beginner I'd say that okay even if you go through up to around 10 passages every week then at this juncture this should be absolutely 
perfect and once again you can find these passages on iQuanta website you can look at previous year question papers and in fact I have started a series uh, where I take you through passages with me so you attempt the passage you discuss it with me it's available on our YouTube channel it's called 100 passages with 100% Tyler we also keep on posting a lot of passages in our Facebook community so you can obviously have access to the material from there and apart from that make sure that you take out some time for vocabulary every day since the cat exam does not ask direct vocab questions a lot of people ignore it but then hey when you ignore it it at times pulls your performance down in areas like reading comprehension and here is a pro move you want to really ace the exam how about writing every day even if you write for five minutes seven minutes it will go a long way because the verbal ability part of the section gives us eight paragraph based questions at the core of those questions is your composition skills or your ability to write so if you start writing that will make it absolutely sensational for you and that essentially is the input on VARC then moving over to DI and LR so here one of the key things that you can focus on is calculation skills so there are certain precursors okay so make sure that you memorize certain things so what are those certain things I want you to memorize your tables till 30 percentages till 30 squares till 30 square roots till 30 cubes till at least 15 cube roots till at least 15 uh, reciprocals till 30 so make sure that you memorize these things and thereafter work on increasing your speed of calculation appro approximations Vedic mathematics you will find resources for all of those things uh, on this channel and our, on our, and on our website too so you can explore it there then specifically for logical reasoning see logic Logic at the end of the day is all about a structured way of thinking so when the examiner says that I'm going to test you on logical reasoning in a way he's telling us that hey I'm trying to see how close you are to a structured way of thinking so you need to bring in that structure to your thoughts and that can be done with puzzles so pick up puzzles from whatever source you know even if it is something like a Sudoku or you find these books uh, 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 which were written by Shakuntala Devi or no, I used to find them on railway station uh, book stalls and here and there so every time carry a puzzle with you you know so pick up a puzzle spend time with it try to solve it when that puzzle gets solved it can happen in 10 minutes it can happen in three days whatever when that puzzle gets solved pick up the next puzzle so it will train your mind to think in a structured manner it will train your mind to pick out clues it will train your mind to have that necessary patience to move towards a solution and similarly for data interpretation that's all about visual representation of data so for data interpretation how about taking out some time every day where you sit down with one such visual representation you know pick up a bar graph just study it see what it tells you pick up a pie chart pick up a table so all these different types of visual representations you know spend some time with them and then think what it represents think what other information can be inferred on the basis of that so imagine if you have spent 50 hours developing that familiarity now when you pick up a, D a di set and you try to solve it i mean one glance and you'd be able to read all that information uh, at, a, at an advanced level compared to your competition huh? so that's something that you can do and apart from these eventually you need to move towards practice questions so make sure that you do go through a certain number of logical reasoning questions and a certain number of data interpretation sets every week I normally would still to for the sake of keeping things simple about 10 sets each then the third and the last thing is quantitative ability or quantitative aptitude whichever way you prefer calling it so the first thing that you need to do is that you cover the basics if required a lot of us are uh, not exactly in love with quant uh, and thus we may need to cover the basics sixth to tenth now the easiest solution for this is 
to work with iQuanta, we actually have created a module uh, which is called engineers, no, non-engineers, just erase this. So we have a module called non-engineers quant. Huh, so this gives you all the key concepts from the NCRTs, from the sixth standard to the 10th standard and that makes your life really very easy. Similarly, when we were talking about DILR, we are creating an entire module. In fact, we have created an entire module called uh, DILR Inception that gives you some really high quality puzzles to level up. We in fact also have a module called Engineers VRC, which is meant for those who are not very comfortable with English and want something which is foundational. So we do take care of those things. It's just that a higher number of people come to us and say, sir, quant, I'm not good at it. So non-engineers quant, you can actually start there and cover the basics in case you don't have access to iQuanta yet for whatever reason, although I, why wouldn't you? Huh? Uh, you can always pick up your NCRTs and go through those and after that when it comes to quant, just master every module and the different chapters within that module in a structured, organized, systematic manner. So when we talk about an exam like the CAT, a lot of questions come from this module called arithmetic. So you can start here. Thereafter, we get a lot of questions from algebra. You can dive into that. So within arithmetic, you have different chapters. Within algebra, different chapters. So there's a certain sequence that you can follow. Thereafter, you can move towards numbers, then geometry, then modern math. So make sure that you do prioritize those areas that get asked a lot in the exam, geometry and uh, you approach them in a sequence where every area that you cover acts as a foundation for the next area. So that will be absolutely fabulous. So that's about quant. So these are the kind of things that you can start doing every day to the best of your ability. So if you are preparing for the CAT full time, devote it as much time as you can. In case you are engaged in some other pursuits, whatever amount of time that you can bring and put into your CAT preparation, please make sure that you do that. Uh, but then I know that some of us can have a problem. So there are individuals who come to me and tell me that I don't have enough time. I'm a working professional. Or maybe you've enrolled in a program which is very rigorous and does not leave you with much time. So to those individuals, there are certain things that I say. And the first one is that, hey, are you able to devote at least 20, 21 hours to your CAD prep every week? If you can do that, then I think you are already in a very good situation. Chances are that that should suffice. But here are some extra things that will help you with time management. So at the end of the day, it is a time management problem. And when we say time management, it does not mean that you can manage time. It, it is all about managing yourself in order to utilize that time more effectively. Huh. So the first thing that you must start doing is start maintaining a to-do list. Unless you know what all you need to do, Huh, you may end up wasting your time or you may end up uh, spending that time on low, on low priority tasks. So I personally use an app called Todoist. Then there are friends of mine who use an app called Tick Tick. So whichever app that works for you or if you are old school and you prefer a physical planner, go ahead and use that. But make sure that every night before you go off to sleep, you write down all those things that you plan to accomplish the next day. Number two, enhance your level of discipline further. Discipline is all about delaying the gratification. Discipline is about choosing something that will give you a lot of happiness in the long term over choosing something uh, that will probably make you happy right now. So instead of watching a movie, read a book. Long term happiness and trust me, discipline is true freedom. Discipline mean, means that you are controlling yourself and if you are not disciplined, if you don't control yourself, others will control you and that's going to be worse. So make sure that you do not engage in those things that do not take you towards your goals. So maybe a little less socializing, maybe a little less chilling and start putting all those things, all those minutes, all those hours, all, the, all that energy towards your 
कैट प्रेप एंड अब ऑल यू नीड टू पर्सनलाइज योर प्रेपरेशन सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट एस से दैट इन ऑर्डर टू गेट अ नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट टाइल प्लस यू नीड टू गो थ्रू अ हंड्रेड चैप्टर्स सो पीपल विद पीपल हु हैव टाइम आई जस्ट टेल दैम हे गो थ्रू ऑल दीज हंड्रेड चैप्टर्स बट नाउ यू डोंट हैव इनफ टाइम सो हाउ अबाउट फाइंडिंग आउट दोज चैप्टर्स विच आर एक्चुअली अ प्रॉब्लम एरिया फॉर यू so maybe out of those 100 chapters you're already okay at 70 it's th- it's those other 30 chapters which can pull your scores down so how about prioritizing those 30 chapters how about uh, putting that scarce time that you have ha huh? how about putting that towards those 30 areas so that you are able to maximize the output from your preparation and how do you personalize it well for that you need to figure out the areas that you are comfortable with and the areas that you are not so comfortable with and the best way to do that is to write the icats these are basically full length mock tests that come very close to cat and going through a couple of these can help you figure out the aspects that require more attention from you so at there are some of the icats at iquanta which are uh, open to everyone ha huh? so visit a website see if there is an icat that you can write today go ahead write it take the learnings from it you would also find some ai driven analytics that will help you assess your performance and that can lead to personalizing your preparation and therefore you can utilize your time a little more wisely and uh, in case you want to work more closely with us we already have launched our cat 25 courses that give you tons of features so of course live sessions but then there is a dual pedagogy so dual pedagogy is there are live sessions but then there are a lot of recorded application classes so you go through a topic you want to practice more questions of the topic but you also want the faculty member to uh, kind of give you the inputs on how to solve those questions and how would he approach it so those application classes come in here then i've told you about non engineers quant engineers vrc plus that uh, lr inception module there are mocks and then you know 24 by 7 doubt solving and above all absolutely cream de la cream of the faculty members and in case you have any doubt about why you should choose iquanta you can pause the video here go through all of these things and then take your own call ha huh? but the last thing that i want to share with you is nothing will work unless you do you have taken this amazing first step of watching this video but the moment this video is over the moment you pause the moment you log out just decide on the next action item what is it that you can do right now to take this one step towards your cat preparation so make sure that you have that clarity and that clarity will propel you forward it can be anything maybe you're watching it during your commute how about listening to an audio book how about working on your calculation skills using a video any of those things will definitely help so that's where i'd leave you today if you have any other question concern doubts leave them in the comments down below we would love to get back to you and even otherwise you can always reach out to us through our website and our facebook community so that's it from me don't forget to like the video and yes subscribe to this channel have a great day ahead